Yeah, yeah, now, behind you. I got that. Great fan. Do you know what? Brilliant fan. I know you just declined. It's for you. Honestly, great fan. Great fan. Give yourself a proud. Oh, you can do the original here. Yeah. 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 He did it, but you know, how the hell you get such great shape? Yeah, yeah, yeah just this the size difference, really. Nothing yeah. I, nothing I did made an impression on him. You know, he could just walk through me punches. So, phenomenal shape. Yeah, that's some more. How are you feeling other than the cut? You're fine. You're fine. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's awesome. Where's... How's he doing? How's he doing? Ricky, just a quick comment. Um, your brother, what a, what a guy. Absolutely brilliant. I think he proved a lot of doubters wrong, you know, that said that, you know, he deserves totally beat to be in world level. I mean, uh, at the level of opposition he faced tonight, um, it's hard enough fighting at this level, at the very highest level, hard enough fighting at this level, um, at your own weight, you know, let alone a weight above. You know, he's, he moved up a level and then moved up a weight division and for the next boxing sensation as he, as he's been billed as and he's, he's gone the he's gone the full distance with him you know uh, I'm, i can't can't say tell you how proud i am with him there wasn't a mexican in the in the hall who thought <coughs> he was going to go 12 rounds was there and Matt proved them totally well, wrong really come in a massive underdog you know everyone was saying it was a mismatch and he'll get blommed out in two or three rounds and it was the complete opposite obviously we didn't set the side till this time but he, should, he proved he deserves to be in, in world class, and if he gets that world title down at his own weight, I think he'll win it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thanks, Ray. Jennifer! Jennifer! Not allowed in here! Get me that. Right, where's my dad? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, he's done well. Do you know what you think he did, Matt? Matt, true, 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 true respect. I know you probably don't want to talk to me at this moment, but, you know, what a fantastic guest, but you might, I know you're disappointed, but... Yeah, I'm disappointed. I mean, it was just the... Uh, just the size difference, really. Nothing I did, you know, made an impression on him. Um, you know, uh, give away a lot of uh, a lot of size in there tonight. And, uh, I was catching him with shots, but just made no impression of him. On him, uh, he never hurt me in the fight. Um, you know, uh, just disappointed really, because I genuinely thought I could win. I just, I probably didn't realise the uh, the size difference. To be honest, I think that was the. Uh, the big difference, you know, he was a quality fighter. Um, he never hurt me, but he just seemed to. Nothing I did made an impression. He could just walk through it and and uh, you know keep uh, dish, dishing the shots out. But I'm disappointed. But um, I move back down to welterweight and see what opportunities are there for me. Well, as Ricky just said, you, you know, you've gone 12 rounds of the weight above your weight class in a world title fight. So if you go back down to welterweight, there's no reason why you can't go one better than that, is there? No, not at all. And. Um, he never hurt me in the fight. You can, you know, I can genuinely say that he caught me with some good hard shots. He never hurt me in the fight, but it's uh, it's hard, you know, when you're landing shots and nothing's happening. Uh, it's disheartening. But uh, I give it my best shot and uh, I move back down to my uh, natural weight division and see what opportunities are there for me. Yeah, certainly did. Brilliant effort, Matt. Absolutely brilliant, Bob. Uh, I'm sure you got. Utmost respect for this guy. Isn't oh, but to, to go 12 rounds with this guy, right. giving all that weight away. Oh, we was 157 pound when we went in the ring. He was 165 pound. That was the difference. The weight. We just couldn't keep him away from us. And he's so brave, this lad. He wanted to have a stand with him. He'd be in the corner. Use your fast hands to jab. But he was so relentless, and he just could walk through you. And that's what they say: weight sinks ships. And you don't realise when you get in there. And I said this to Matthew from the World Go. You know, you're going up a weight. It makes a big difference, but until the guy really experiences it with someone this good, world-class fighter, I think it's a great performance by him. Shows his courage, his fitness, and his desire. And he will come down, and he will win in the world title. But it's got to be a welterweight. Okay, well done, Bob. Thanks to all his fans anyway for supporting. Thank you.